friends, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building these Kiha 52 diesel multiple unit cars. So let's get right into the build here. The first step is to take our polished black stone stair, and we're going to come down and crouch, and we're going to put an inward facing stair on each rail then a polished black stone slab on bottom between them then we're going to come around behind it skip one block back from it and we're going to get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle behind that we're going to do a three by five of polished black stone block then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle then open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. Behind that, we're gonna do a three by three of smooth stone blocks. Then one on the back middle and a stone brick wall on either side of it. Then three smooth stone blocks across behind it. Then three polished black stone slabs on the upper hip box and a polished deep slate wall on either side of that. Then we're gonna do four polished black stone block coming up the center. On the side of that, we're gonna put two polished andesite stairs facing this way, two facing the other way. Same thing on the opposite side. Then behind that, we're going to skip one block back from it and we're going to do a 3x3 three three of lodestone. Behind that, two lodestone coming up the back middle. Then put two grindstones on either side of this. Then behind that, we're going to do a 3x3 three three of backward facing observers. Then a polished black stone block on the back center. Then we're gonna come up here, crouch, and we're gonna put a dragon head like this on each side. Then behind that, we're gonna skip a block back from it and do a three by two of smooth stone block. Then we'll skip a block back from that and we'll get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then a 3x5 of polished blackstone. And another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. And into the ends of the wheels at this end. Then in front of these dark oak fence gates, we're going to put a polished blackstone slab on the bottom middle, crouch, and an inward facing polished blackstone stair on either side. Then we're going to come through on the sides of the wheels and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each wheel on both sides. Then we'll come up to the front and do the same thing. And here I realized I forgot to open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. Then we're going to take a polished deep slate stair upside down facing the wheels on each side at this end and facing the wheels at each side of this end. Then a right side up, outward facing stair on the center of each side. Repeat the process for this truck. So upside down stair here and here, then facing the other way here and here. Then a right side up stair on the center of each side. Then we're gonna put a dark oak fence gate here and a grindstone here. Do the same thing on this side. Then we'll come do this truck. Grindstone here, dark oak fence gate here. And repeat the process on this side. Then we're gonna come on the end here. We're gonna put two red terracotta on each side above these stairs and a smooth sandstone in the center. Then we'll come on this outside edge and run a full line of red terracotta all the way down to the other end. When we get right here, come in one, then smooth sandstone, then two red terracotta, and then come all the way back up this side with red terracotta. Then 
then we're going to take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and attach it up. Delete the one we use for placement, under it a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we have to go do the same thing at the other end. So a dark oak stair for the coupler, stack it up to this middle block, delete the ones we use for placement, under it a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then on top of the end here, we're going to do two red terracotta on each side and a door in the center. Do the same thing down here, two red terracotta on each side, a door in the center, then a column of two black stained glass on either side of the door, smooth sandstone above it, close the trap door on it, then two smooth sandstone on either side. Repeat it down here. So two black stained glass on either side, smooth sandstone on top, close the trap door above it, and then two smooth sandstone on either side. Then we're gonna come back up to the front end. Right here in this front corner, we're gonna put an oak door. So a door right here, then behind it we're going to do four red terracotta, then four smooth sandstone above that, and smooth sandstone across the top to the end of this. Then on bottom we're going to do three red terracotta, and a column of two smooth sandstone above it. Then right here we're going to put a door, and we're going to do smooth sandstone above it, next to it a red terracotta, and then a column of two smooth sandstone. Then before we do the rest of these windows, we're gonna go ahead and fill the rest of this with a single layer of red terracotta coming down. So we'll just go ahead and bring red terracotta all the way down to the other end here. We'll do the same thing on this side. We'll do a full line of red terracotta over here. This will make it easier to do the windows. Leave a gap here, put a door here. Then we'll come back over here. We're gonna skip one block over, a column of two smooth sandstone. Skip two in a column, 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 skip two in a column. There should be six two block wide windows here so I need to do one more then we skip one and do a column right here we'll knock out this red terracotta put a door and come up and over it with smooth sandstone then behind that skip two in a column then skip one in a two by two of smooth sandstone knock out this one put a door here then we're gonna come through all of these window gaps here and fill them all with black stained glass panes until they're all filled in down to the other end here. Once we have that come over to this opposite side and first we'll knock out a red terracotta and put a door directly across from where the doors are on the other side. Then we need one more on this end. Then we'll take out smooth sandstone above each of these two doors. And then we'll simply come through and copy our pattern of smooth sandstone blocks directly across from the opposite side. the top here. Then of course we'll come back through this side and fill all the window gaps on this side with black stained glass panes. And just keep it coming till all the windows on this side are filled in. like that. Now I'll go back to red terracotta 
five across this top end here, and then we'll bring it all the way up this side. Bring it right down to this end, come all the way across this end, and all the way back up this side till you get down to the other end. Just like that. Then we're gonna come through on the side and we're gonna close an oak trap door above each of the doors on the side. This will make it look like the doors are taller, like they're supposed to be, because the door scale's not quite right in Minecraft. Now we're gonna come inside and start working on this. And on this bottom floor, we're gonna fill the whole thing three wide with blocks of bone with the pattern going sideways like this. And just keep it coming all the way down to the other end here. Then once we brought it down to this end, we're gonna come back outside here and we're gonna take out birch fences we're going to come down on either side of the doors we're going to put a column of two birch fences and we're going to come through and do that on either side of all the doors coming down and of course we'll do the same thing on this side two birch fences on either side of all four of the doors once that's done we're going to come back inside here Come on the end, on the bottom left put a lever, on the right a glow item frame with a compass. Come do the same thing at this end, glow item frame with a compass and a lever. Then take quartz bricks one block behind this side door here and we're going to frame in a doorway. Then we'll go ahead and put a door inside that. Then we'll come to the other end and do the same thing. So one block before this door, quartz bricks, frame in a doorway, and then put a door in there. Then we're gonna take iron bars and put an iron bar on the bottom of each side on both sides of the door. Same thing for the door down here. Then right here, we're gonna take out red nether brick stairs for seats do four facing inward on each side. Then put a diorite wall on either side of this, and then a stair facing this way on each side for seats. Skip a block, turn around, and do a stair on each side facing the opposite way. Turn around, stairs facing this way. Skip a block, turn around, stairs facing this way. And we're gonna keep doing that with the stairs facing into each other, going back and forth till we get down here. Just like that. Then here and here, do a prismering wall on each side and an acacia button on top of them. And we're actually gonna come down here and change these two end stairs to prismering walls and an acacia button on top of them. Then come over in this section and we'll go back to red nether brick stairs. And we're gonna put one on each side here, facing towards the end of the car. Skip forward in another set. Then at the end, turn around and two facing this way. Then repeat it down here. So a stair on each side here and here. Skip a block another set. Turn around in a set facing this way. Then three quartz bricks across that end and three across the top up here. Then we're gonna come in and we need torches and end rods. In here, we'll put a torch on each side to light the cab. Come down here and do the same thing at this end. Then on this top middle, we're gonna start right here and go all the way down to the other end with horizontal end rods to light the passenger compartment. Once that's done, 
we're gonna come in and we're gonna grab quartz stairs. And on this outside edge, we're gonna do a full row of inward facing, upside down quartz stairs. Then turn around and do the same thing on this side, a full row of inward facing quartz stairs on this side. Now come on top, start on the end, and we're going to fill this whole top middle three with andesite blocks down to the other end. Then on this top outside edge, we're going to go end to end with andesite slabs up here. Bring it right down to this end, then do the same thing on this side, end to end with andesite slabs and bring that down to the other end on this side. Just like that. Now we'll come down and detail the ends here. Down here on bottom of each side, we're gonna put a glow item frame on each side with a redstone block in them. Then above them, a crimson button on either side. Then above the window on each side, we're gonna put a birch sign. Then on the top center, a glow item frame with glowstone and next to it, a skeleton skull. Then we need to move down and do the same thing at this end. So we're gonna do a glow item frame on either side down here with redstone blocks in them. And we need to grab a crimson button again and put a crimson button above each of those. Then above each of the windows, a birch sign, then the top middle, a glow item frame with glowstone, and a skeleton skull next to it. On top, one block back here, we're going to make this ring of iron trap doors and a skeleton skull inside of it. Then we'll do the same thing at this end, so one block from the end, make this ring of iron trap doors and a skeleton skull inside of it. Then we're going to take stone slabs in the center aligned with the door and in the center up here aligned with this door. Then we're going to put one aligned with every single one of these window dividers coming down here. Right in the center like that. And actually it's not looking quite right. I'm going to move this end one over by one we'll move this end one over by one. And that completes the build for the single car here. And they do string these together to make larger trains. So you can feel free to use the structure command to copy in or just build as many cars as you want on your train. I've just done three here, but that completes the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.